Hello everyone, me phone here. Welcome back to another Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. And this is where it comes down to this. As right now, Minnesota Wilds and uh, Colorado Avalanche are the top team to remember it. But at this moment, there is only one that can move on to the next round to face against the winning team in the Pacific of the Seattle Kraken. Now for this part of the next game, I will have is Jay and Greg Ferraro here at Paul Arena for the next part of the game in Denver, a mile high. And right now, as Carolyn will be standing by here in the center ice, and me will be in post-game show for three stars and total statistics of game number four. So now it's time to make this one go in, and let's find out who will make the win and face on against the Seattle Kraken. I'll be keeping an eye on each player right around the corner. And now, let's get started. Enjoy the, the second game of the night, guys. Still a lot of time left right now. Only 19.04 to go. The Avs win the draw. Lekkinen's moving the puck through his own zone. Minnesota Wilds, two minutes for interference. I get what he's trying to do here, James. He's trying to gain a little advantage, but that's interference and it has to be called. It's your ass power play! And their first chance to use the man advantage. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the puck. Wilds penalty. Number five, Jacob Middleton. Two minutes for interference. Time and penalty, 1704 remaining in the first period. And now we'll be starting to have power play. And that is the Avalanche! His first 
first goal of the playoffs of the power play scored by number 37, JT Comfort. Time to go, 406 remaining in the first period. Six shots on goal for the Colorado Avalanche and nine shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds. For JT Comfort's power play goal. 15, 42 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Woo! Woo! Play the puck is determined that the ice puck the player was right in the crease, and therefore we have a no goal. No time to think about that non goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Let's 
Minnesota's won the draw. And now it's over to Kaprizov. Here's a blast. Brilliant save, running perfectly. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Great extension of his part to poke it away. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Great defensive effort with the stick. Minnesota's got into the offensive zone. And that's broken out. Allison's got the puck. Saucer pass across. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that goes off the body. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. remaining in the first period.
Minnesota goal. It's 36 to a goal of the playoff score by number 38, Ryan Hartman. It's first assist here by number 9, Matt Dumbo. Time to goal, 1936 remaining in the first period. Four, 28 shots on goal for Minnesota and 23 shots on goal for Colorado. With, uh, with Ryan Hartman's score, if only 13.2 seconds in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We're almost done right now with the first period, and now this will be the end. It's now tied. Minnesota goal. A score 24 goal in the playoff score by number 97, Corella Kaprizov. Resisted here by number 36, Matsu Corella. And by number 45, Jared Spurgeon. Dominant goal, 15 seconds remaining in the second period. 32 shots on goal. 32 shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds. And 28 shots on goal for the Avalanche. For Corel Capriza, scored in the in second period, 19.03 remaining. 19.15 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here by number 20, here by number, by number 81, Michael Nido. And by number 12, by Brandon Byron. Time to go 425 remaining in the third second period of the game. 34 shots in goal for the Free Abs. And 36 shots in goal for the Minnesota Wilds. We're now able to score in Amico right today. 15 02 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 
Here's our wild goal. It's 14th goal in the playoffs for number 89, Frederick Dorwell. This first assist here by number 20, uh, number 89, Carol Nyquist. And by number 32, Ontario Sampas. Time to go, 7-14 remaining in the second period of the game. 39 shots on goal for Minnesota. And 34 shots on goal for Colorado Avalanche. With Frederick Dorwell's score of the game in the second. 13. 03 remaining in the second period in the Stanley Cup playoffs.
Call about a penalty. JT caught for her for, for fighting. Time of the penalty. 701 remaining in the second period. Also fighting here for Minnesota. Jonas Broden. Five minute penalty for fighting. Time of the penalty. 701 remaining in the second period of the game. Number 83, Matt Nidal. Time of the goal, 15.44 remaining in his second period. Third, 23 save shots on goal for the Colorado Avalanche. Third, 32. And 36 shots on goal for Minnesota Wilds. And Matt Nidal score with 3.45 remaining in the second period of Stanley Cup playoffs. right now. It's now a tie game of three. Looking for our next goal.
Last minute remaining in the second period. And this should be it. The second period's over. It's to now a tie game. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Just a quick announcement for you all. As right now, at this moment, we've been a, a, a excellent, it's been an excellent part of the year. As this moment, I've already have went to the film festival. That's the part of the no, uh, part of the Nazu Film Festival of the making for one of the best player movie makers in the in the part of the, in the class section here. And it all goes out with a special thank you to who a shout out calling for a uh, better player, a better than noticing ever. Also on my Instagram page, I wanted to give this one a great one and have that one all we did notice for. But it's all that did turn out that it does happen to be most people that really never stood a chance. Well, Mr. Mr. A, it's going to take us for a moment of time. A shout out on Instagram to Vinny Arizo. Well, he is definitely really done well. He has been a great teacher here for a part of, of the syndicate part of his school. But it's not very the part of a difficulty that everyone really calls out. And, and Mr. Music is definitely the next thing that he, they all count for. Not really consuming to everybody else who made that admission, but I'm going to tell you this. They never see what, what anybody else does that for. Well, I guess there would be one word to have that one here. And because of this one here, if you watched it here for a part of it, you should check out this part of the Syndicate Productions. And it's right here right now in there. I have it down here in the link in the description, so go ahead and check that one out. Um, also, we also got another comment there for the suggestion for you guys to make a selection here for NHL 24, now casting now, before the end of the month. Hits here on June 30th. So make sure you cast that one now before they are locked in. Otherwise, it will be the it will be it. There will be no uh, rebranding. There will be no uh, same teams like we have seen it before each other, like uh, Avalanche and Rangers, Avalanche and Wilds. But it's not going to count with this one part of this for the second time we're using this game. So only one team of each side will count for only other teams. Not the second time do using the same teams. I'm sorry, guys, but this is what we always do. Make your selections now here by leaving a comment box below. And if you're on the social media, make your selections by using the comment box here below. I will be happy to appreciate you to enjoy it. And finally, the new episode of the deals might be releasing to be delayed here, unfortunately, because right at this moment, I might be just picking up another solution to try to keep it over and under again. So there might be another change up, I'll have to like keep an eye on using the editing of the cuts. So I'll have to hold on to that one here as also. And with that being said, that is it for now. And finally, the Anime Insanity and the BFDI experience is happening here next month on June 25th. So if you're ready to get to this part of a the theater, you know you better, you, you better always be ready. And in just a few months, in July, I will be seeing what the creators do for us for our newest location here at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. Yeah, I'm super excited. Are you guys too? Well, you gotta leave yourself a comment down here below because I very will be happy enough and I will get to see the, the creators in real. That will be the best thing in the world. Alright, then. I guess you all hope and enjoy it and don't forget, live streams will be happening here if you can't make it. 
we'll have to, to have to see what comes in for the live stream to watch anytime on your devices. Now, let's get back into this game to finish it off the third period. Jay, Greg, all yours. They're still trying to get it done, but it might be findable to get it done and go with the swing. Five minute penalty for fighting for the Colorado Avalanche. Number 37, J.T. Puck for for fighting. 16:38 remaining in a in a the time of the penalty. Also penalty here on Minnesota Wilds. Yeah, number five, Jacob Middleton for fighting. Time of the penalty, 16:38 remaining in a third period of the game.
McKinnon's got it through center. Here's a short pass to Lycanen. And he slides it through the And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Boudreau. Into the corner of the attacking area. And the puck's not loose. The Wild have possession along the boards. on Colorado, two minutes for Sashi. Slushing, Tom and the penalty 808 remaining in the third period for the Minnesota Power Play.
Last minute remaining in the third period of the game. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nyquist. 
This is where it comes down to overtime for a win or go home for Minnesota Wilds. These guys are very tough, but no lover in the world can definitely do it again like they mean it. But now they get comfortable at this. They really are starting to get right into the uh, comfortable game to try to go with the lead and go back to tie this game. But they never seen what was going on. They never really seen it going by. But however they did, they were really trying to hack it off. But now, let's find out how well they do to try to keep the scores and go with another one to take out with a win. Will it be Minnesota or will it be Colorado? Win and move on to take on against Seattle Kraken. That's their next game in the conference Western Conference Finals. That will be happening here right across the mirror once the game games of round two have been complete. And for that one, there's only one that might be turning out to be just that. Bruins and Bolts. Well, let's see how this one goes. And now it's that time to do it. Let's get into this. Jay, Greg, all yours. Oh. 
Two minutes for interference. Johnson for interference. Tom and Bell 12 29 remaining in the, in the overtime period for the Minnesota Power Play.
Minnesota's won the face off. Here's a shot. Oh, he stopped that one. And now it's grabbed by Hunt. And he sends it across to Cogliano. Tosses it on to Cover. Here's a chance. And he's got that one. Hunt comes back at it after serving that major penalty for fighting. He gets a shot on goal. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Comfort's got it, they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Up to the challenge as he gets his pat on him. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Minnesota's in transition.
Last minute remaining in overtime. Two minutes for slashing. Number two, number thirty-two, who Samuel Gerard. Tom and Peldy, forty seconds in the over, in OT period for the Minnesota power play. Two minutes of slashing. <laughs> Call around penalty number nine, Evan Rodriguez. Goose. Two minutes for slashing. Time to penalty six minutes, six seconds in that over T. Here to the Minnesota five on three advantage. Well, this game continues as right at this moment, no overtime goals has made for the Wilds or the Colorado Abs. They are still fighting and they wanted to get back into work to keep the game alive because only two teams from between the Carolina Canes and Seattle Kraken are already in the conference finals. But they are waiting for an opponent team to make the win in between the Bruins or the Bolts or the Minnesota Wild and Avalanche. They're waiting on it to take over with this win and try to bring it all as they could. This second overtime in game is brought to you by Adidas. As right now, the continuation of the power play run comes in for Minnesota Wilds. They have a chance to make that one a power play goal if they make one in. If they kept it out, they'll be back to a one man advantage for the power play only without the 5 on 3. And if it doesn't help, well, it might be a very tough one to be out there and uh, that they're trying to keep it out. Let's find out who will make the next win in the second overtime period. Back to Jake and Greg. Let's see which next goal could be. Let's see what happens. Guys, all yours. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. 
No goals in this game, trying to add an answer one.
This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's won the face-off deep in the running. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Gaining momentum along the way. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Avalanche have control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to O'Connor. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And he's going to get In front of that, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Won the draw and they'll look to set up. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Taken by Cage. Minnesota's gonna hold him against the wall. Sunfist got the puck. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop of play! Penalty coming up as the ref gets not like that. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Penalty in Minnesota, two minutes for slushy. I can hear the frustration right away as soon as that call was made. A door slam, a stick smashed on the ground. It's the odds power play! This 1.1 can be really effective. They've got a really good back front player that does a lot of the dirty work for them. Retrieves the loose puck, screens the goalie. It's not a glamour Here we're going to penalty for Minnesota. Number 28, goes to Nyquist. Two minutes for slushing. Time on penalty, 920 remaining in the overtime second, in the second overtime period of the game. Diaz have a hold of it in the defensive zone. 
Joe Panaiser picking up steam. Sent into the offensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Gerard. And he feeds it down to Nishuski. And that's picked up by Nyquist. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. And to the offensive end right up the middle. Nishuski's got it along the boards. Play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face-off. The Axe win the draw. Puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. And he takes the pass. Minnesota, Minnesota goal for the double overtime period, number 79, 97, Kirill Kaprizov. His first assist here by number 38, Ryan Sprojet. Time of the goal, 16.33 remaining in a second overtime period. Well, the Royals are back. They are not leaving. They are going to game five, and we only have two of each teams left to go. Let's have a look at the three star players of the game. Kirill Kaprizov, what a double over T winner with the two goals and two hits. Alexander Giorgio made a great day of his run of the night, 71 saves. And your first star goes to Gustafsson, that got 69 saves in this game. With total shots on in between, here's how they did. 75 and 72 total shots on goal. Man, that was a lot. 32 hits for Minnesota and 17 for Colorado. 11 on 1 for a Minnesota attack and 939 for Colorado. 90 percentage passing for Minnesota and 92 passing for Colorado. 40 face off wins for Minnesota and 35 for Colorado. Then it was 14 minutes for the penalty kill for Minnesota, 18 minutes for Colorado penalty kill. Only one power play goal, 258 for the power play minutes. And Minnesota was only 634 remaining in the power play minutes. No, no power play goals for them at their time. So their game is not done yet. Unfortunately, this is not going to end here for the Western Conference Finals. No winner this take on against the Seattle Kraken because they are still trying to find an answer to get right away with it. So we will see them again soon in Game 5. We only have one game in Tuesday's matchup. And I'm following along here with tomorrow's of the night on Wednesday night's game. That will be happening here on the other side also as well. Bolts and Bruins for Tuesday night. And then Colorado against Minnesota Wednesday night. So thanks for joining us here. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Next week on Monday will be three games. The Bucks, get Cavaliers, then the Celtics against the Sixers. And finally, the Nuggets against the Clippers. At back at Mile High, the same location just like here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you would appreciate your time. And man, that was a long one. Good night, Mile High, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.